Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you a very interesting uh, Google Chrome, or in my case Chromium, extension. It's called Vimium, and basically it transforms your uh, Chrome or Chromium browser. It adds some Vim-like key bindings. So it's just uh, an extension, you can, uh, you can install it super easily, just press a button, you know. And it is open source. This is the website, this is actually the GitHub page. This is also the website where you can find some more information, uh, introduction video. And actually I already did a video on a Qt browser, which is a Vim-like browser. Uh, but this basically adds this Vim-like key bindings to Chromium. So you have, if you like Qt browser, you can also have a very similar behavior okay by using chromium or chrome actually i have no idea if also runs with some spin-off like iridium or uh, uh ungoogled no chromium ungoogled something like that i have no idea but i'm going to try uh, i'm going to try maybe iridium if i can get to install it by the way so anyway we can start the first thing most important is press the question mark okay so that you have a nice uh, cheat sheet and you have this everywhere, just in any website, just press the question mark and you will have it. Okay, and then you can modify, by the way, all the key bindings here as you wish. This is, these, are, these are the defaults and I'm going just to use them, by the way. And actually, I don't use so many of them. I'm just beginning to, to learning it. So. I have to say that even if you have Vimium installed, you can still continue using your mouse and the browser will behave just as Vimium is not installed, you know, the same, totally the same. What I like is that you can open uh, a new tab. Normally you will open either go here with the mouse or press Ctrl T, but you can also open and search straight away by pressing capital O. For example, go search for Linux. So as you can see, just open a new tab and search for Linux. It's using Google right now. I have to modify this actually because I don't like Google. And but yeah, some somewhere you can just modify everything, you know. And then you can close this tab, for example, by pressing X but X key. And to undo you press the capital X key, so shift and X, okay, and then it reopens. If you don't want to, to open a new tab, but just search in this tab, you just press the O, the O key and not the capital O. So O and then Arch Linux. Okay, as I say, to open a new tab, capital O, so shift O, and then Vimeo, for example, you know. And that's it, basically. Then you can just scroll between tabs by pressing capital J to the left and capital K to the right. Yep, so maybe it doesn't work in this tab. You know, some tab maybe it will capture the mouse, the cursor, and when you are here, you actually have to go out from here because you are like insert mode, you know. So you have to get out from here either with ISK or with tab, and then you are able to use the the key bindings. And then you can search, you can still search uh, as usual by pressing Ctrl F and then search for Linux, for example. But you can also use the forward slash, as you can see down here, and then search for Linux. It says 42 matches then press enter and then you can just scroll this with n and go back with capital n you know then you can also by the way move around with h j k and l keys you know as it happens with vim and that's it really this is just a small introduction i still have to to use it on a 
like uh, instead of the mouse, you know, sometimes I just go back to the mouse, but it's very useful, especially like the ability to close the, the tab, you know, like I'm here, the mouse is here, so I just press X and the tab is gone, X, the tab is gone, you know, that's very useful. I like it a lot. And then another thing, the first thing that I showed you, you press just question mark and you have this very nice help if you forgot or if you want to know all the specific key binding, the, all the details, you know. Okay, that's it. Hope it was helpful. It's there. It's open source. You can try it out and then just uninstall if you don't like it. So it's also, this is another way to learn Vim, you know. Not just in Vim, but also on your browser so that you get used to the HJKL, for example, keys to, to move around. So this is a great way to learn Vim also. All right, see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.